<laughs> All right, it says we're live, Han, so I think we are live now. We are here. It is Jeff. I've got the man, the myth, the legend, Hans Apple with me all the way from on the other side of the country in Washington. I don't know why I did the man, the myth. The, that seems weird. I don't think I've ever introduced. Can I get that in writing? Because I like that. Yeah. I, you, yeah well, it's recorded on a whole bunch yeah, of things yeah. right now. So you <laughs> got it now. You can take the record and put it wherever That's you awesome. want. That's uh, awesome. I'm pumped to be here, man. I'm so, so freaking pumped up and excited for you. Um, and I, because I know exactly where you're right. I have a good idea of where you're at right now, like emotionally and like, the nerves and the anxiousness that's coming, but I'm super excited to be chatting with you and to, to just be a part of the, this group. That's like sharing out this awesome thing that you have coming out with your book coming out this Friday. So first and foremost, if you are watching us on YouTube, hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment, let us know um, what you're doing, where you're at. Uh, and if you're going to buy the book on Friday, it should be a yes. Uh, if you're on Twitter, make sure you're following us. Make sure you're following Hans, his, his uh, handles right there underneath his, his beautiful face. Uh, if you're on Twitch, someone tell me how to use Twitch. It'd be great. Uh, but we are on Twitch today, so we're all over the place. I'm loving this. We're in the Facebook group. We're in the Facebook page. We're on the YouTube page. We're in, we're on Periscope slash Twitter. We're everywhere, Hans. This is like the real deal now. You're in the major leagues. I don't know why. Dude, I'm, st I'm still stuck that you said I have a beautiful face. Like that, <laughs> that's a great start. This is well, going well for me. Let's, let's go full <laughs> transparency here. I did have... I did have some cocktails with Dave Schmidt over oh, there. Okay. So like, you know, <laughs> right. um, no. Um, so no, I, I really am excited. Uh, so for those of you who are watching who don't know already, if you haven't been paying attention to social media all over the place, whether it be Hans and Jennifer Awardman Culture social media or the Teach Better Team social media, uh, if you don't know already, Hans's book comes out on Friday. It drops Friday. You can pre-order right now, right? So they can get it. Absolutely. I, I have it up there so you can pre-order right now, but it drops on Friday. It's coming out with uh, with the amazing group over at Edgy Gladiators. It was awesome. You guys have an awesome deal with them with a whole bunch of awesomeness coming in the future. Uh, so, so I know at this point in my journey for Teach Better coming out as an author there, like I was super nervous right now. I, I I don't know if nerves are the right words so much as anxious for sure, but but a little nervous because you, you're kind of really, when you're pouring everything into a book, you're really pouring a lot of you in there and you're about to say like, here world, judge me, right? Um, and, and put it out and you have no idea how that's going to be taken. So are you feeling that right now? Are you nervous right now? Are you anxious? Like what kind of feelings are, are in you right now as you're, we're only two days away? Well, I'm Not very either. nervous. I'm very nervous about Friday, but it has nothing to do with the book. I'm super excited and pumped about the book. What are you nervous about? I'm nervous, Jeff, because I have to do a live daily drop-in with you and Ray <laughs> yeah, that's on, on Friday morning, and I have to make my decision, Team Jeff or Team Ray. So that's Ooh. a lot of pressure. I'm feeling the stress. The book, ah, that's going to be fine. We're, we're going to have a great time with that. Team it's, Jeff, Team Ray, that, that's a stressful situation. Listen, um, it, it was shown today, the world now knows that Kim Bearden from the Ron Clark Academy is Team Jeff. Um, that's pretty big. <laughs> that that that's big and and I don't care what anybody says it was not me that sent her the shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was me. I sent it. Uh, she was aware of it so she accepted it. But it doesn't matter. Uh, that was great. I love that. Ray's reaction was hilarious. Uh <laughs> you know, but if I'm really being honest, like it's probably safer to be team Ray for you. I'm just saying like you know, <laughs> Don't let her know that I said that, but no, that, I'm excited for that. Like, so that's going to be a really cool daily drop in um, with, with, with Ray and I both on there and with bringing you in and we're just going to chat all about the book and, uh, and, and talk no, about it. And, and hopefully people are going to be showing us that they just bought it and, and going nuts. So um, I'm glad that you're not super nervous about the book because I know it's going to do well. It's super important. I think that the, what you're covering in it and the, the content that you're sharing and the strategies and the mindsets that you that are in the book, I think, are super important always, but even more so right now. So, and and, and we kind of chat on this, but can you share with us why is this why is this book and what you're talking about it's so important right now? Yeah, and I think you're right. It's always important, right? This, this oh, work yeah, has absolutely. always mattered. It's always been a huge deal, but I think it's even bigger right now, and just the fact that you know we're in the middle of a global pandemic, right? I mean, that's the reality. And so, you know, we have students that are freaked out. We have teachers that are freaked out. We have, you know, people that um, already have elevated anxiety and now it's going to the next level. And so we really do need to infuse joy back into school and what that looks like in the fall even. So I'm excited for this book. I mean, obviously I wouldn't have anticipated any of 
what happened uh, in the world, but it does feel like it's exactly the book that needs to be out there, you know, that, that people need to be reading about really serving the whole child. It can't be just about academic content anymore, Jeff. No. We have to go beyond that. We have to be reaching all of those, you know, making sure that students feel supported and healthy and, and lifted up and engaged and challenged and everything all at once. It can't just be about math and science and history and, and what we've always traditionally done. Yeah, I agreed. And I think you're right. Like that's and that is that's always important. But I think we're just it's being highlighted right now. We're realizing it to a, a nth degree right now that it is so, so crucial. So um can you give us like the thousand foot view overview of the book and what's in it, what it all covers? And then if you wouldn't mind, like from kind of branching off from that, I'd love to know sort of of all of that, is there a particular part that stands out that you're like really particularly excited about people to get or, or just more like proud of that really stands out. Like I know there was parts of our book where I'm like, like, that's it. Like that. I'm, I love that. That's my part. Like I'm sure you have that. So you can kind of give us, can you give us the overview of what's the book all about? And then into, and this is Hans's like most proud part or piece you're most, most excited about. It's hard to pick a, a proud part, right? <laughs> because it, it ends up being your whole baby, right? I've spent yep. two years working on this thing, but yeah, I mean, as far as the big picture, it's really a framework for an entire school to build an exceptional school culture. And so I, I mentioned this, I think, to Ray yesterday. I really wanted to create a book for everybody. I, I feel like a lot of times the school culture books that I've read out there are specific to one person, and that's the building principle. And I wanted anybody to be able to pick up this and feel like they could immediately impact the school culture, right? And so we, we kind of go through three big uh, pillars, which is what I look at, character, excellence, and community within the school and how you impact all those, um, both from the, the staff side as well as from the student side. But then beyond that, um, we start taking a look at like cultural maximizers. So those things that get sort of beneath character, excellence, and community and sort of support those things, right? So it's those communication skills, things like uh, vulnerability and gratitude and how you um, you know, lift each other up, uh, how you support one another, um, you know, all of those little things that kind of really take a culture to a, a special place. As far as, you know, things that I'm particularly proud of, well, I'll just share one that I'm really excited about. I call it the triangle of joy. Um, and it really is all focused on this idea of kindness. You know, we know, Jeff, that kindness is a powerful thing for students to do, they, they get a sense of joy when they you know perform an act of kindness. We also know it's pretty obvious that the people that receive that kindness feel amazing. It's an awesomeness. But what we uncovered at our school is that there's this third, I guess, leg of the triangle. And that's for the observers. That's those people that are just seeing kindness, right? They're just mm -hmm. witnessing it. And so what we figured out how to do was to actually um, you know, put students in a position and even staff members in a position to experience the kindness, whether that's through social media, whether that's through live demonstrations, but just being able to, to watch kindness and, you know, participate it on a, even when you're not directly involved with it actually changes your soul. Like it, it, it lifts you up. It like impacts your brain. You know, there, there's actually brain research that just, you know, watching acts of kindness actually changes the way that you behave. So I'm really excited for people to dive into that concept of triangle of joy. There's, there's a whole section on there as far as different strategies and things that we have done to, you know, kind of amplify that in our own school. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I'm super amped for. That I love that. And I love it because the, that third angle, that third leg, as you said, of that is so true. If you think about when, I mean, some, when posts go viral all over the world, like so often they're this, you know, this, this act of kindness, you see, and that's exactly what it is, is you just feel so good. You're like, I don't care that didn't, that that wasn't me or that I didn't do it. Or I didn't receive it, but like, it just makes you feel good. So I think you're right. And that, that, that does, that has such a huge impact on culture. What, what I, I, I love about the way that you, that you address it. And you said, you, you know, you wanted it for everyone, I think is so important because you can take these, uh, this framework and you can implement it in your classroom, in your building, or in your district or in your hallway or at your grade level or in your continent like it like you said it doesn't have to be you don't have to be an admin a, a school leader or anything like that you can start from wherever you're at whatever your position is what i think is also really cool that a lot of people might not even necessarily see coming is that i think you take this book and you can take it out of schools and take it into businesses 
take it into sports teams, take it into your to your family and to your communities and implement the same framework and all anywhere. And it's the same thing because the same things work. Yeah, the, some of the specific examples might be school related, exactly. but I think you can take this far beyond into into business, into into your social life, into and all that type of stuff. And I think that's really cool because uh, I think that makes it super powerful. And the impact I think is going to be incredible from it. So, no, so I appreciate I appreciate you saying that because that that is kind of you know the overarching idea is that you know we're not we're not just trying to create an isolated good situation, right? We're we're really trying to change the world in, yeah. in a bigger kind of global way. Um, you know, like for instance, right now, just thinking of strategies, we I, I'm seeing a lot of educators that are doing great uh, check ins with students. I think that's something that you know. COVID has really put on the forefront. You know, we're noticing that we need to be doing check-ins with students. One of the things that I think you would get from my book is the idea of it can't just be about you checking in with the students, but you also need to share about your own world, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and really helping, you know, teach educators how to share vulnerability and how, how to, you know, make connections with students that go beyond just one-sided connections. Um, I just had a, uh, a student interaction a couple of days ago, Jeff, where a student was, you know, feeling a lot of anxiety and frustration about, um, you know, the circumstances, being stuck at home, being isolated. And, you know, a lot of what I did was obviously listen. That's what I do as a counselor. I do a lot of listening. But I also shared, you know, how it's impacting me, right? And, and my own personal experiences with COVID and, and with just, you know, trying to manage all this craziness around us. And I think, to be honest, that's the part that she connected with the most. It wasn't me giving advice. It was just me saying, here's how I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I think I think this book is going to challenge people to kind of get outside their own comfort zone, you know? Yeah, I, I love that story and, and the, the advice of just like, it can't just be about you checking in. It's like, the, it needs to also be you allowing them to check in on you. Right. And I, and I think, yeah, your students, right? I mean, they, like she was looking for the i'm not alone right Absolutely. and so as you tell her he, she's going oh this is someone that i look to for help someone yeah. who's here to guide me and yeah. can, you know and he's feeling the same way i am he's struggling too so like it's not me right but it's got to be real right it's yeah, got to be yeah. it's got to be authentic we can't it's fake that real. yes yeah. exactly and that yeah otherwise because they'll sniff right they'll go right through it like and it Absolutely. won't work and it's, it's going to end up doing harm rather than that. i think that's the key is, so, so you need to let them in you need to let them like that's that comfort zone you talk about yeah. It's easy to put on a show and say Absolutely. the things you think you're supposed to say, but to really get out of your comfort zone and really let them see that, Hey, this is affecting me. Mm -hmm. um, that that's, that that's really big, that authenticity. And that's going to strengthen that, that relationship to, to the max. So, um, so the book's coming out. So I know a lot of people have gotten their hands on it. Uh, I, well, one shout out to Adam. Adam says already, uh, he's excited. It's already pre-ordered. I love it. Um, so appreciate that, Adam. That's really cool. Adam's um, a rock star. He's he on it. He's on it. I know. I know you. You've gotten it out to a lot of people. A lot of people have already. You read it. Um, obviously, people who have endorsed it and stuff like that. But what what kind of feedback have you gotten so far from the people that have read the book? Are they? I mean, I'm, I would imagine most will come back with positive. But any like specific feedback that's standing out or getting you super like maybe excited again that you didn't think yeah. about? Oh, I forgot about that part. And they pulled that out. Like that's one of my been my favorite parts about the book is like when they're like, "Yeah, remember in chapter four when you said this?" I'm like, "No, I don't." But now <laughs> I do, and that's awesome. Like, you has been working on a book for two years, so like, yeah, you know no, I mean? that you talk, you that talked happened. about nerves. You talked about nerves earlier, and that's definitely where I felt the nerves when I when you sent it out. Know, when I sent that initial like they call it the advanced reader copy or whatever, yeah, yeah. we send that out, and and you know just to get feedback, and you don't know what people are going to say, and mm -hmm. the feedback has been overwhelming. Uh, just so positive. Um, I think one that particularly stood out to me was Dr. Michelle Borba. Um, she wrote a book called Unselfie. So if you're in the yeah. character education world at all, you know, that's probably the Bible on empathy. Um, and I was blown away. Like she basically told me she couldn't put it down that, you know, it was just the most complete book on school culture she'd ever written. I ever, uh, uh, read. And I mean, this is, a rock star that's probably read or probably written, I don't know, maybe 25 books or something. And, and she mm -hmm. was just raving. And I mean, you can tell I'm getting kind of choked up just talking about it because I can't get my words together, but it just meant a lot to me. Uh, and so, 
Yeah, it's been so cool to see what people, I mean, I was listening to Ray and Elizabeth Bostwick this morning talking about, you know, the book because Elizabeth has already had a chance to see it and give her thoughts. And it's just, it just means the world. I'm so excited for it to get into people's hands, you know, and, and really impact. I'm excited to talk to you after the first few uh, pictures come in on Twitter and stuff with <laughs> people holding it. Um, because I remember that. So I'm excited to, to like the second that happens and I see the first one, I'm going to text you and be like, what are you feeling, dude? Like, let's talk. Let's, let's get a virtual drink real quick. I want to hear what's going on. Because I remember that. That'll like, be a really, big moment. It That'll is. It's a, a really moment. neat moment. And uh, uh, so it's, it's, I'm excited for you. I, I just, I'm so pumped up for you. I know what you put into this. Uh, I know how much effort, even like, yes, two years, but I really know what's going on in the last couple of months because that's yeah. when you really have to buckle down, right? Because the cover starts coming through, the design, right. you're proofreading everything, you're getting everything set, figuring out how we're going to market this, all this type of stuff. And you really work in, and kind of head down, like, and then it kind of all kind of like stops for a second. And you got to wait mm -hmm. for like the release, and then and then you get that first that first selfie with someone holding it. Adam, hopefully it's going to be you. You need to beat everyone too. <laughs> um, would be great. So I, I'm excited about that. So, um, so it drops on Friday. So I'm, I, do we have time? Is it like just first thing in the morning Friday? It's going to be available, or do we have to wait yep. for like Washington time to come around? No, or? it'll it'll be available. It'll okay, be available. Awesome. Good, good, good. And Absolutely. you're gonna go, you're going live with us, so it'll be available when we go live on Friday. Me, you, and Ray for our daily drop in, which is in our, you know, which we're gonna, I think we're gonna, we're pushing those out to everywhere now too. Um, so we'll be all over the place about that. Um, and it's the final daily drop in. Like it is. Like I, I timed this perfectly. How do you? I know. How do you <laughs> like, that is, that's, the, that's the best way to wrap it up. So we're gonna wrap up our daily. If you don't know already, our daily drop ins are wrapping. Friday is the last one that we're gonna do, uh, and we're gonna finish strong with uh, with chatting with. Hans, I think on Friday we're talking. We're going to get in a little more into, um, into like the the part of, parts of the framework and actually see yeah. if we can you know share some of that, which is going to spark some questions and stuff, and then we'll address that from That'd people. That'd be awesome. Like that. So, uh, Adam's already Adam's committed. As soon as it comes in, he's going to get that picture out. Well, so, and Jeff, we're going to announce some winners. I say we're doing giveaways, right? We're we're doing some giveaways. So, Dude, I didn't even touch amazing. on that. Tell us about the giveaways. Like how how does that happen? I mean, yeah. Like, so Let's do that. So I put out this question to everybody. It's basically how does whole child education foster joy, right? So how does whole child education foster joy? And you can share that out on social media, any social media. Um, you just need to use the hashtag uh, award winning culture and hashtag teach better. And we're going to pick five winners on Friday uh, to get signed copies. So hashtag award winning. I should have had this up. I'm not very good at my job. And hashtag teach better. Uh, so any social media is good, right? We're putting that yep, out. Absolutely. Um, and they, they've been coming in, so we're getting some really good stuff. It, it's been fun to see. It, it's an open-ended question, so people are taking it in a lot of different directions. Yeah. So that's cool. it, not like a yes, no. It's a, it's right. a, I can express <laughs> myself now. So you're getting some really inside inside looks into stuff. So right. that's super cool. Are we announcing those on the daily drop-in? Is that the plan? Of course we are, Jeff. Oh, absolutely. I, I don't know anything. I'm just, I just work here. Um, that's, that's cool. I'm excited. about. I'm even more excited. I knew we were doing it, but I just forgot. Yeah, um, be fun. That's super cool. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, question, because I know Ray is going to ask it. Are we allowed to win or is that like... Do, are Ray and hey, I able I to think you need or, to put in. I think you need to put right, in and see what I'm happens. Not, I'm not to get in there. I know Ray is going to talk. Every time we do a podcast giveaway, Ray's like, but can I win? I'm like, no, you can't win. <laughs> it's not how this works. So awesome. So if you're, if you're listening, watching, and anything, make sure you use an award winning culture and teach better to answer that question. Um, and then join us on Friday to jump in. Uh, I'm, I'm live tomorrow night after the master chat. I think we're going to. We're probably going to talk a little bit too. I might, I might throw you a couple questions, get some more info, some insider info as awesome. well. But appreciate you jumping on with me, man. I'm, like I said, I'm super excited for you. Like I, I this is really cool. Uh, it's my honor to be like just connected in this way and get to like bring you on and do this. I know not everyone gets to kind of what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Kind of steal this time with you right now, you know. So it's kind of <laughs> it's pretty cool. So super excited for it. Um, I want to give before we go a huge shout out to your amazing wife, Jennifer, for putting up with you during these last two years of building this thing. I know. And I don't mean- Wait, have you been talking to her? Have you been talking to her? <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> oh, well played off. No, but a shout out to Jen because I know how much you guys work together as a team and I, I know what's going in, uh, what you've been putting in this and how she's been been there for you and, and going through this. And she's got a lot of cool stuff going up. But I, I just love what you, you're both doing and what's coming because- 
She's um, got a lot of cool stuff happening. I, and that's why I said stuff like, happening. I'm, in so the, honored, I'm so fortunate to know about a lot of the stuff that's coming yeah. down later on uh, that I just, I know people are just going to love. So super pumped. Um, love it. Any last words for anyone watching from you before they to get their hands on this thing on, on Friday? No, put in for the challenge. Uh, you know, the book is right now available on presale and Amazon and Barnes and Noble. And you can also go to our website, which is awardwinningculture.com and check out tons of information. We're going to have study guides on there. Um, lots of resources. So yeah, I'm sure we'll get into a lot of it on Friday or yeah, Friday. Yeah. As well. And uh, also brand new podcast has just launched. Award just saying. Culture. Might as well do it all at once, right? We got 11 episodes out right now, right? It's going to yep. release every Every week. Sunday. Every, every Sunday. Sunday come out. And I'm, we, I, I, I was acting like we're going to go, but I'm going to go by podcast. Because here's what I love about the podcast. It's literally like, Ray and I keep saying this, but it's the best way to describe it. It's literally like just going on a walk with you, Jennifer, and Maya. Like it's just, yeah. it's yeah. literally like we just like jumped on your shoulder and listened in. Um, which is really cool. I really like it. It's just very casual, easy to listen to. And it just feels like going to walk. It's just shorter. They're like, you know, 15 minutes, give or take, mm -hmm. which is like a really great um, length. I, I joked the other night on our podcast that it's not this nonsense that we do at like 35 minutes on, on Teach Better Talk. <laughs> like this short little things that you can listen to, even if you have a shorter drive or a quick trip or, or whatever, but there's also 11 episodes out already. So you get, you can start back at one and, and go. And so, uh, so definitely check out the podcast as well. So uh, yeah, it's really just... casual. It's really casual. We're just kind of talking whole child stuff and social emotional learning and, and all things leadership and school culture wise. So it's really fun, but uh, you can check that out over at teachbetter.com. Yeah. So, yeah. Loving it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate everyone watching, everyone uh, commenting, and uh, make sure you follow Hans and get ready for the book on Friday. Um, and Brianne says she cannot wait to listen to the podcast. Uh, <laughs> so get on there, Brianne. Do it. Uh, and we will see you all uh, tomorrow morning. I'm live tomorrow morning for the drop-in, so I'll see you all tomorrow morning. So appreciate y'all. See ya. <laughs>